Okay, here we are again. Um, you'll notice I've had to switch screens, uh, and that's because I've actually had to switch computers because my other one was playing up. So hopefully this one will do the job. Now we're back on AutoCAD, and we're looking at our title block here. And I've saved this as a block, and what I'm doing here is I'm now going to add some parameters onto it. So I'm going to add linear parameters on, but this time rather than going straight in and putting the distances in, I'm going to come here first of all and add them as a value set and as a list. And my list of distances are 297, and then I put in a comma, and 420. And those represent the distances across here, in other words the horizontal width of A4 and A3 when it's in landscape. I'm now going to add another one on here. And I'm going to do the same again, so I press the drop down arrow, then go to value set and list. And this time it's going to be uh, 210, 297. And those are the two values for the height of A4 and A3 when it's in landscape, respectively. Okay, and the location for that distance is here and here. But at the moment, neither of those do anything, and that's why this exclamation mark is here. But if I go into Actions and then apply a stretch action on Distance 1, I want to use this handle to drag it outwards. And my stretch frame is going to include that area there and all of the objects within that box that I've just done. OK, so that, that will now be active. And you can notice just over here, a little icon has appeared just above the top of my crosshair which is showing where it will stretch out to. So I've predefined two distances it will stretch to. That one there, which is 297, and that one there, which is 420. Um, I've done the same here, but I need to attach the stretch parameter. So a stretch parameter on that handle. Uh, my stretch frame is going to be this area here, and the objects I'm going to stretch are all of them. OK. Let's see how that works. So I'll go into test block, and there's my block. When I click on it, so I select the block, and I can stretch it out to those distances that I selected only. I cannot change it to any other distances, which is great. However, it's still two step to change it vertically and horizontally um, to get my A3 to A2. So that's not quite what I want. What I still need to do is add a lookup parameter. What I'm going to do is to plot that down in the middle there, and a lookup action as well. And the lookup action will apply, of course, to the lookup parameter. And what will happen is I'm going to type in here A, in fact, I'll do A4, L for A4 landscape, and then A3 landscape. And now I'm going to add the properties. So the properties I want to add are distance 1, first of all. OK. And when I've got A4 in landscape, distance 1 is 297. When I've got A3 in landscape, it's 420. OK, let's add the other property, which is the height, or distance 2. Um, this one, when I've got A4, it's 210. And when I've got A3, it's 297. OK, let's see how that works now. Test the block again. Select it. And now, in addition to these handles that I can click and drag, I've also got this here where I can either select A4 landscape or A3 landscape, and it just switches between them. But actually, I no longer need these handles now, so let's just get rid of them. So all I do is come down here, and I'm just selecting that handle on the end and pressing delete on the keyboard just to get rid of it. And now if I close the block editor and save title block, so let's see what happens when I insert. I'll make sure I insert the right one. Title block. There we go. I put it on screen somewhere. My scale factor will be 1. And now when I select it, I can choose whether it's A3 or A4. OK. Now where might that be useful? Well, actually very useful on my layouts. Because if this was my layout, and I'm just going to 
uh, delete that the viewport there now this layout if I go into the page setup manager that layout there is in A4 landscape okay so if I just close that down and go to my layout 2 layout 2 if I go to the plot setup manager this one is also in A4 landscape but if I modify this one to be A3 so I'm looking for A3 and the one I'm looking for is the 420 by 297 which is the landscape view and I'm going to change these to zero is the offset margins I don't want offset margins at all okay and click close and now on layout one when I insert that block remember I can choose whether it's a4 or a3 yeah so my scale factor is one so that will be exactly right and there it fits the a4 page absolutely perfectly if I go into layout two and insert the same block um, in the same way so with no scaling So it's just dropped there. My scale factor is 1 again. Um, you'll notice it no longer fits the page because that is an A3 page behind it. However, now if I just click there, I can choose to say, well, it's A3 now, and it is A3. Okay. I hope this has been useful. I'm the Adobe Guy, and thank you for listening.